state is taking action tonight. And the move is sure to throw a wrench in the exotic pet trade. Local 10 News reporter Janine Sandler is live to explain. Janine. And most people agree that the exotic pet trade is what got us into this mess in the first place. So today, wildlife officials met. They took comments from members of the public, and there will be new rules pretty soon. Invasive tegus and iguanas have overrun our native ecosystem. And today, after an online meeting with public comment, Florida wildlife officials made the decision to ban people from owning, breeding, or selling them, as well as other so-called high-risk reptiles like Burmese pythons, which are already banned as pets. My bag number what? Yep. Proponents of the ban say these reptiles, when let loose, have already wreaked havoc on our native ecosystem. But there's been pushback from breeders and sellers who argue they've been helping to get rid of the invasive species, and selling them gives them incentive to keep hunting. Tegu hunter Rodney Irwin, who we met near Homestead, says he's on the fence about the new rule and is in contact with other breeders around the state to figure out what to do next. And at last check, Fish and Wildlife Commissioners were still meeting, and so the details about these new rules, they still haven't even been posted on FWC's website. We keep refreshing. One thing we can say, though, is that if you do have a pet green iguana or a kegu, right now you can keep it, but you have to have a permit. Again, those rules, those regulations, they will be posted soon. We'll stay tuned. We're in Pembroke Park. I'm Jeannie Sandler, Local 10 News. In tonight's